morning everybody sa atong mga earthworm enthusiasts maayong buntag sa inyong tanan to our friends all over the world so this is the second segment of our uh, vermicomposting 101 last week you saw how we started a worm box today we're gonna start uh, seeing how we're gonna maintain our worms uh, para mabahogan na tong earthworm so that himsog sila how to make use of whatever we have in our kitchen to feed our earthworms. So remember, this is home scale for those uh, housewives and um, husbands who wanted to uh, start earthworms in their homes. Para sa katong mga naalang sa balay, nga gusto ninyo mahipos ang inyong mga uh, organic matters, ang inyong mga salin-salin sa inyong kusina, this is the best uh, way to actually use it and not just to trash it away from uh, from your kitchen into the um, sidewalk or uh, trash but make use of it as a source of earthworm food. So today, you're gonna see how we can make use of those things into very good earthworm food. So, Moni ang earthworm box that we started uh, last week. Moni ang um, box nga kung gingin naingon sa inyo, recommended dark siya. Recommended siya that it is not seen by light because earthworms are nocturnal. Ang atong mga earthworms, mangi ulawon sa light. So, they needed to be in a place where it's dark all the time so they can actually continue their activity all throughout the day without any, any uh, rest from the sun. So, that's why it's like um, everything has... Uh, as holes in it including the top and then at the bottom if you come in here closely you will see that our earthworms are living there happily it's been about two weeks that they're here and then some of them you can find um, along the sides uh, sila sa mga daplin, aning a box uh, very happily let me see if i can see some of them it's right here it's one there's one um, again they're still they're already very acclimated in the space and today, I'm going to show you on uh, how to pagbahog sa ato mga earthworms nga aron sila malipayon. So I'm going to show you how to feed your earthworms using whatever you have in your kitchen. So I will show you what I have and uh, what we need to do with the things we have to feed our earthworms. Akong ipakita sa inyo kung unsay atong naa sa atong balay o unsay naa na to nga mga madunot nga pwede na to ihatag sa atong earthworms. I'll show you what we have and uh, the materials that you need to feed your earthworms. First off, you need a little bucket like this and maybe uh, water. I just kept this here. Kay mo man akong mga materials kana akong balay, no? So pwede rasad straight, you can use uh, kining tubig na naasay mong faucet but it's always good to have it in a container so that you can easily control how much water to put in. Mas maayo nga naasay sa container para makontrolado ni mo kung pila ang imong ibutang sa nga tubig dito sa imong mixture. Next, Next, you have, I have three different wastes here. Doon ako yung coffee grounds. Kining, kung magbruta o coffee, na ay mga leftover sa coffee nga uh, uh, brood. So, imunit siyang tigumo. If you cannot use it right away, uh, suggest na ako ibutan niyo sa container and then put it in a refrigerator. Uh, as long as it's not rotting very, very much, you, you can actually store it in the refrigerator. Cool place. Yeah, pagdilis lang mag, magdunot. So, also, I have um, almost rotting bana bananas, um, overripe bananas, chopped into smaller pieces. Yeah? Um, and also, I have so smaller pieces like this. So just chop it really well, and smaller pieces like I said. Do not master it. Do not do not uh, puree it. And then I have also shredded paper. Uh, these are from the shopping bags that we got from the store. Uh, from here and then just shred it into pieces. See, these are all uh, I have from the kitchen. You can also feed meats, onions, and uh, um, whatever uh, peelings of uh, um, lemons and citrus that you have. Uh, contrary to contrary to popular belief that these things are not good for earthworms and and earthworms will shy away from them they will actually eat them the only secret is you have to chop them into smaller pieces and feed them in moderation just like anything else so contra sa mga popular belief nga ang mga uh, karne uh, kining ato mga onions o mga garlic nga uh, dili pwede i separate na ni mo i separate ni mo na siya sa imong mga food waste Pwede ni muna siya i-actually ibahog sa imong earthworms. The only thing is, imuna siyang i-chop into kining gagmay nga mga 
uh, lugas o gagmay nga piraso para makaon ni sa earthworms. Yeah? Earthworms will would like to eat uh, smaller pieces of food when you feed them. Because the, the thing is, if you put a small, large chunk of meat into the uh, mix, of course, earthworms will not eat it right away. So, mas maayog yun nga chop into smaller pieces in moderation so that bacteria will not act. Okay, next thing that you have to do when you gather all your materials, um, one thing that you need to uh, think about is a good source of carbon and a good source of nitrogen too. Carbon, we usually relate it to the brown things and the brown organic matter, and the nitrogen are our green things, kining uh, mga high nitrogenous materials. So, browns are represented by usually our cardboard, shredded paper, wood, um, you know, sawdust, and wood chips, and our greens would be our food wastes, like what I have here. Uh, atong mga greens, mo ni atong mga uh, food waste nga nasa kusina, uh, especially in, in my case, kining mga bananas o um, uh, uh, coffee, yeah? coffee grounds. So, karon ato ni siyang isagul din hi sa balde. Yeah. So, we're gonna mix everything in uh, this bucket. Uh, the ones that I just shredded and and cut into pieces, I'm gonna put them all there. So, just be very careful. You may also, um, if you're really um, wanted to make sure that everything is um, safe. I recommend that you wear uh, gloves. So put everything. This is actually a little bit, but because there's are there's our soft, and I don't mind them being this big. But you can actually just chop them into smaller pieces. And then after that, what I'd like to do at this point in time is uh, put water inside. Put water. Uh, enough water to cover to cover the surface of whatever food waste you have. So when you have that consistency, then it's time to put our shredded paper. Kaning ang shredded paper nga mo absorb just the extra moisture that's in the mixture. The ang naka naka nindot sa ato ang paper is that it is going to absorb all the extra moisture that is in the mixture so that whatever you have there is not going to be very wet and dripping wet. So this one is dripping wet. So what we need to do is add more paper to the mix so that it's not, you achieve a mix So this mix is already good for feeding into the worm. Okay, now that we mix our food for the earthworms, yummy food, so this is actually paper that's flavored with whatever you have in the kitchen. So, mo na siya tubig nga, butang na itong flavor nga agikan sa itong mga food waste nga sa itong kitchen. So when you have this, all you need to do is lay them on the top, like this. Ano So, spread lang siya. Do not cover everything. Um, make sure that you do not actually seal the top completely. Kaya kung i-seal ni mo ang top completely, wala na hangin sa imuhang uh, earthworms. She won't have a lot of air for your earthworms. Remember, ang earthworms, not, earthworms are aerobic. They need to breathe. So they need to have a lot of air, uh, uh, air in the process of uh, decomposing our food waste. So here, yeah, have a look. So that's how it should look uh, when you have finished feeding your earthworm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, those are uh, the steps how to feed your earthworms at home. So like I said, after you're feeding them, just put the black lid on or the dark lid on and make sure that um, it is well uh, sealed so that it will not blow away by the wind or from the wind, strong winds. Um, and then set it aside in a really cool, nice place. Don't put it in a garage or a place where it can be hit by the sun. Ayaw siya paadlawan. Kaya mo init ni siya. Earthworms are not like it when this one gets hot. Remember, our earthworms, this whole process is mesophilic. Ang kininga process is really room temperature. Earthworms nga gusto gudang um, sa earthworms nga dili siya mo init. So, ang importante sa nga pagbahog ni mo, gamay lang, mga one inch lang. Para dili mo init ang, ang imong gibahog. Kaya mo, pasig compost siya, mo init na siya. It's thermophilic. Dili mo angay ang earthworm sana. Remember to feed it really thinly so that uh, the food waste that you put in there is not going to go into 
thermophilic compost. Earthworms will probably die if that, what that will happen. So for more information, I'd like to invite you to, uh, to read my whole textbook about vermiculture technology. I'm going to show you the link um, in this video. And also there's a, is a, a nice uh, a book also written by Rhonda Sherman, my very good friend from North Carolina, who uh, actually wrote the book, uh, The Warm Farmer's Handbook. It's also a very good book for those who are practicing in, in So, katung gusto yun nga mupadako sa ilang um, earthworm composting, o maligya sa earthworms, o magpadaghan sa earthworms, o maligya sa vermicomposting, vermicompost itself, uh, I'd like to invite you to read Rhonda's uh, Farmer's Warm Farmer's Handbook. Uh, there's also it's also published. It's called Biology and Enthusiasts and um, um, you want to learn more about of them and how to understand them more fully, I'd like to invite you to also read the book. So the next segment, we will revisit our earthworms maybe in a week or so. So do not feed the earthworms for maybe a week and then Start feeding again if the food waste are gone at the surface. So, mo na imunti mail again if the food waste that you've uh, um, put on top of your warm bin is uh, they're already gone. So, do not put waste. Do not put food waste on top of each other, uh, lest they will go uh, composting. All right. So, mo lang na, and then I will uh, see you in the next video.